Hey there survivors, how's it going? I'm your host Douglas here at Drown Boy Productions and we are at yet another Halloween store. Unfortunately, no Halloween City yet, but they do have Party City open. So this is the Party City in Gulfport, Mississippi. I'm about to go in here and check out what new Halloween stuff they may have this year. They did have a sign out front saying that they've got Halloween stuff, so I guess only time will tell. Let's go ahead and dive in. I can definitely already see some Halloween. This is already one of the best stocked years I've ever seen. Bro, they've got ghosts playing in here first thing as I walk in. What is this? Step right up, step right up. Come get your scoop. Creepy, creepy confections. Free all day. What's wrong, kid? Don't you like ice cream? Oh, that's actually a really cool mask. So they got ghosts in here. <laughs> this is your favorite song. Of course. We got all the masks up there. Just a ton, absolute ton of Halloween ends masks. Some kind of really cool Krampus like demon next to it. Really wish I could show you guys a better close up of these, but they're way up there. I do want this. I want this sign that says horror and has the bleeding ghost face. This is Gilbert. A little bit closer to the Gill Man from Monster Squad. <laughs> the Wig Monster is a pretty cool sculpture. <laughs> Of goni masks up there. I like got purple fang face. I don't know what that thing's called. Ayla? A Y L A? I can't even show it to you guys. I don't even know why I'm pointing at it. <laughs> they took one of these Teratoma Frontman masks and just absolutely fucking spiked it up. <laughs> this is the new lead singer mask right there. They got the Mickey Mouse Holocaust masks because you gotta have that. An absolute. Freaking ton of makeup here. We've got some spooky hanging props and different decorations. We've got various tombstones, including this Halloween 2 Michael Myers one. It's not terrible, it's kind of cool. I like this charred, rotting pumpkin though. It's like kind of a flaming thing going on for it. It's not just simply light up. Let's take a look at some of these hanging props. The skull jack-o'-lantern guy is pretty cool. I already know that, bro. Tell me something I don't know. All right, let's see if I can get a decent shot of the mask wall here from a distance. This is a pretty large amount of stuff, but. We got all sorts of spooky weapons over here. Whoa. It's like that weird fun world knife and a regular buck 120 kind of had a child and that's what came out of it. Oh my god. They really ripped off fun world with the bling knife and did a full bling machete. Look at the bling machete. It's a low low price of only $25. Oh, we got the Halloween ends knives here. It's my first time seeing one definitely just printed on all the rust and damage which i guess it would be pretty hard to accomplish in a factory setting but it's not terrible it's not my favorite but it's not terrible what'd you say oh, and they made the chainsaw for only 30 dollars 
and you just paid $50 for one. How do you feel, sir? <laughs> yeah. Got another ghost face shirt here. Kind of like a tarot card from what I can tell. And then you've got this little official hoodie. And we are actually running out of battery, so hopefully we can finish this tour up pretty soon, guys. <laughs> Sculpture mask. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. <laughs> I think that looks sick on you. Yeah. It'd be an improvement. Yeah, it seems like this aisle is mostly accessories. You do have a awesome, badass, super cool mask every once in a while, like this thing. You got cool with these teeth. What do we got here? What is... Okay, it's actually not terribly made. Hell yeah, she had banger. Well, it would seem that other than this beautiful anime selection here, with Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan here, that's uh, pretty much all they got. And it looks like with this you have to cut it out yourself. That has to be like extra flashing and trimming. There's no way you're meant to wear that as is. That's crazy. Well guys, that was pretty much it for Party City. They did have some decent stuff in there, mostly stuff from previous years, not a whole lot of new, but we're leaving empty-handed, did get to check out some cool stuff, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this tour.